Feeling down about the endless cycle of bad news in the media? Well, here are some good news human rights stories to celebrate this year. Switzerland legalised same-sex marriage after almost two-thirds of the population voted yes. And then Slovenia did the same, while transgender rights advanced in South Korea when the Supreme Court ruled that a transgender parent of a minor should not immediately be refused recognition of their legal gender. There have also been some important laws and agreements made by world leaders this year. The US introduced legislation to protect Afghans without visa status from being deported. Additionally, gun violence legislation was finally passed, which provides $250 million for community violence interruption programs. Meanwhile, India suspended a sedition law at last after 152 years. And there was another victory for freedom of expression in Niger. Parliament there amended a cybercrime law that had been used to imprison activists and journalists. While over at the United Nations, a resolution was passed to investigate the nationwide protests in Iran. And the UN pledged to continue investigating international crimes and human rights abuses in Venezuela. At the same time, there was a landmark moment in the fight for climate justice. The UN General Assembly recognised the right to a healthy environment as a universal human right. And then states at COP27 set in motion a process to address historical climate injustices. We also saw progress for women's rights, with amnesty at the forefront. In Colombia, women will no longer be criminalised for an abortion during the first 24 weeks of pregnancy. And, after turning to TikTok in support of US abortion rights, Finland's parliament eased its own strict abortion laws, while Spain passed the only yes means yes law to prevent and prosecute rape. Progress also continued towards the global abolition of the death penalty. Kazakhstan and Papua Guinea abolished the death penalty, while the president of Zambia announced they would begin the process of abolition, and Malaysia removed the sentence for 11 offences. Now, although laws and legislation are crucial, individual success stories can't be ignored. The Guapinot 8 were unconditionally released in Honduras after being held for over two years as prisoners of conscience just for their human rights work. Indigenous Mayan environmentalist Bernardo Cao in Guatemala was released after being jailed on bogus charges related to his activism. And, after 16 months of campaigning, Israel released 18-year-old Palestinian Amal Nakhle. Finally, in South Sudan, after 700,000 people took action for Magai Matiok Ngong, he was released from prison after having been sentenced to death at the age of 15. Amnesty's ongoing work for individuals helped secure the release of people across the world, delivered justice for families and held abusers accountable. Join us in our fight for human rights.